Hello everyone! Yes, your eyes do not deceive you! We are back on console! And we're gonna be once again revisiting Potato Aerospace. Why am I playing on console, you may ask? Well, funny story that I posted on Instagram. Well, basically the whole reason I started Potato Aerospace in the first place was um, because I broke my hand and I couldn't use my PC properly. And I just already... Already the controls. I don't know. I just want to click on anything. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, so um, I broke my hand. So I couldn't play on my PC properly. So I thought, oh, I'll play console for a bit. And literally, as soon as my hand healed, I'm like, I'm, I know I kind of committed to unlocking the whole tech tree. But screw this. This is way too difficult and rubbish. I don't like him going back to PC. Well, anyway... As it happens, guys, funniest thing, I posted on Instagram last week that I, uh, my, my left hand now is, has got a, a big bandage on it because I, I didn't break it, but I very badly burned it and now it's in a big dressing. So I thought, well, this is as good a time as any to revisit. How do you time warp, by the way? Oh my gosh. I just want to focus on the sun. It's really hard for me to multitask. Oh, I had plans for this particular, like really punchy intro. Uh, yeah, so I thought this is a good excuse, as good a time as any, to uh, to revisit the console version of KSP and continue with my odyssey of unlocking the entire tech tree. And a lot of people pointed out that the whole reason I was playing on console, aside from all the aforementioned reasons, was to showcase the MUN launch site. And I never did that because I was so jaded by the console experience. I just said, you know what, I'm just uh, I'm just done. You know, I'm just I'm not gonna even bother. I'm gonna just stop. But now I'm back, we can have a look at the Mun launch site. And it'd be nice to maybe, you know, go somewhere. As you can see, I'm currently in the transfer window. Time warping to a point where our line from Kervin to the Sun to Juna is approximately 45 degrees. Because that's right, we're going to go to Juna. How do I exit uh, the... Is it one of these buttons? We're going to go to Juna, basically, from the launch site. And... Uh, oh, Lego, leave tracking station. <laughs> so that that's what we're going to do. So uh, launch with the launch site will be, Mun launch site will be great because it means that we haven't got to faff around launching from the surface of Kerbin. So we can save a colossal amount of fuel. So our Juno rocket is not going to really resemble what a typical Juno rocket would look like for um, PC version of Kerbal Space Program. So let's go ahead and build it. We'll start with uh, we'll start with the Juno lander. And uh, that's a bad idea, actually, because I don't know how to flip the, um, oh, oh, I've forgotten all the controls. I'm so sorry, everyone, right? Come on. Do you just get rid of the pieces like this? How do you delete? Uh, how do I flip it? Okay, fine. We'll just, we'll just build it upside down. How do I rotate? Oh, R1. Well, I'm pressing. Oh, no, not that way. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm doing that. Up, oh, up, oh, there we go, we got it. Okay, and then the camera is, uh, oh, okay, oh, there, good. We placed a part, we can pat ourselves on the back. So I'm just gonna not do anything too complicated here. Uh, I just realized I probably was a bit stupid building it upside down because now I've got to be mindful about keeping everything the right way up. So we don't really need a, a huge amount. Let's make it orange. Let's make it orange. Why not? Uh, it overall wasn't worth the effort, was it? I will, um, I, I'm hoping the commentary will take a more uh, entertaining form once I've actually got this thing built and I'm on the way to Juna. So that's a pretty good Juna rocket there. I know the Delta V is 392, but that's from that's like based on Kerbin's atmosphere, which is not the same as Juno's atmosphere, so it's fine. Now we'll make a nice wide stance for it. We're gonna whack up the symmetry. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> and we'll add a couple more fuel tanks, just because I'd like to have a little bit extra over what I need, because. I don't want to have to do this again if I mess up and waste a bit of extra fuel. So let's just whack on maybe two of these. Oh, just uh, maybe I'll do it on this one. There we go. And then we'll add a fuel line. Like, oh, 
like like that. And one benefit, <coughs> where's the mouse gone? One benefit for having these peripheral fuel tanks is they'll serve as a nice foundation, a nice wide base for our landing gear. So it means the lander is less likely to topple over. Brilliant. Thank you, game. There we go. Oh, just just perfect. Now, it would be nice to have some parachutes on here as well, but I think they're a little bit too below the center of mass of this ship. So I'm going to create some pylons onto which we shall attach the uh, the parachutes. Maybe three. Looks good. And then we'll add a little parachute module. And there it is. And uh, start retracted. There we go. Don't really matter, but you know, oh, it's not, it's not on very straight, but whatever, it's okay. <laughs> okay, next thing we're gonna do. Actually, it looks a bit naff, doesn't it? Let's get this on. Let's get it on properly. And just because I'm worried that that's that will have inevitably messed up the fuel lines, we can probably neaten them a little bit as well, can't we? And all of them are attached. Good. Excellent. Okay, next up, we'll add a few more science experiments. Where are my science experiments? We're going to add... Oh, we just want the one. We don't need symmetry. I mean, at this point, guys, like, after this week, my um, my my hand will no longer be in a bandage. Uh, I'm not going to play console KSP again, <laughs> so um, I'm not that bothered about maximizing the amount of science we get. Oh, I forgot about the barometer. I'll go and add that in a second. Oh, there we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh, I need to add the thermometer as well, don't I? Gosh, I'm forgetting everything. Can that fit this sign? I'm going to stick it probably there. And I've not missed anything. I don't really need that. Uh, I guess I could take one of these, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's, it doesn't, they're quite ugly and big. And then we'll add a, a ladder, maybe. Um, oh, I've got the cool-looking ladder. Fine. Oh, it'll go over the doors. Oh, whatever, we can just use the jetpack. Famous last words, am I right, guys? Okay, next up, we're going to add a docking port. Uh, oh. So we haven't got the the non so game. I just want to add it. Are you kidding me? Just clip it on. There we go. Then we'll add another one. Boom. And uh, then we'll add a um, you know a, a thing. Let's add a structural piece. Actually, let's add. Which one weighs more? This one is. 0.05, this one is 0.04. So let's go with this one. <laughs> Makes no real difference. Beautiful, this is gonna be the, how do you zoom out, there we go. This is gonna be the re-entry module. So we'll add some ablator, ablator, there it is. And now it comes to building the rocket that's going to get us to Juna. Now, normally this would be a very arduous process and we'd probably eat up most of the build. But, because we're only going from the Mun, we only really need... What's that? That'll do. Oh, let's just zoom out a little bit more. That. In fact, no, wait, not that. There we go. Okay, and now we just need an engine. Uh, yeah, we'll found. Why not? And that that's enough. That that's our Juno. That that will, that will get us to Juno and back. I I hope. I hope to God. I don't want to play this game. <laughs> uh, this called this this version of the game, I should say. So let's just strut this thing up. I I know there's probably a shortcut for the symmetry, but I do not know what it is. See now it scares me that. Because what if that little thing doesn't decouple, you know? I'm really paranoid about... Because, you you know, KSP is fairly bug-free, right? <laughs> Let's just drop them to these things. All those things, I guess. That works, too. That's cool. And uh, that's probably fine. That's probably enough for uh, 
for that. And yes, I'm happy with that. We should probably add like some RCS thrusters. Oh god, the console hasn't even got the uh, the new RCS. That's just this kind of sucks. Not that I know how to use RCS thrusters on console, mind. How much money printer does this thing have? Uh, oh, it's got uh, ten units. Ah, oh, it's, it's probably not enough. Let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Let's put it on here instead. Nah, that's probably where the center of mass will be when we get to Juno. How much monopolon does this one have? Ah, 30. Easy. Oh, we need electrical generation. How could I forget? Oh my god, it's been, it's been like 13 minutes already. I think. I don't know if when my timer I've got running I actually started. Oh, I've not even got any good solar panels. I've only got the Diddy ones. I mean, that's fine. Come on, past Matt. What are you doing? I was about to put. I could just put. Let's put. Let's put eight on. It's not like they really add a significant amount of mass, is it? Might be worth adding some batteries to uh, to this one. It's really hard for me to like put in the amount of concentration I need to put in to play this version of the game and also live commentate at the same time. I really hope those panels aren't obstructed by the. Peripheral boosters. Let's up, and there we go. Oh, for goodness sake! It's added the four again. Oh. Perfect. And I think that's everything. That looks good. We haven't got to worry about crossfeed because there's a decoupler there that will have the crossfeed disabled. So in terms of staging, that stages first. Good. We don't want that to stage next. We want the parachutes to stage after that. And um, we can have the uh, engine activate in the same stage as well. And then those 4D couple, and then finally that one. Okay, good. Staging is sorted. Let's give this spacecraft a name. Uh, there, perfect. And that's, now we need to choose our crew, don't we? Ooh, we want a scientist. No, we don't want Jeb there. We want Jeb here. I want the scientist in here, and we'll bring an engineer, because why not? And there we have it. Oh, action groups. Uh, custom one just runs, just runs the experiments. <laughs> Log pressure data. Log seismic data. Uh, you know, it just goes on. I feel like I don't need to dictate what I'm doing, but uh, log gravity. <laughs> but as soon as I do that, I'll then start pressing the wrong thing, like toggle display or something. So how are you guys doing on this fine evening? For me, it's Friday night. You know, this is what I do. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, I pressed toggle cover. That, that was a close one. I want to toggle the observe mystery goo. And did I do the main one? I think I did, did I? No. Lol. Right. And that's, that's, that's everything. Custom one. And is it all saved? How do I save? There we go. Now, we want to launch. Come on, baby. How do I change the, uh, choose launch site? Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh. Uh, there we go. Set as default. And this is it. I'm actually genuinely quite excited. Because I've never seen the MUN launch site before. Before I do that, actually, I might add some... It's going to be worth adding some launch clamps. I've never got launch clamps, but... I'm worth this... Yes! Oh, this gets better and better. And look at that. It's going to be high off the ground. Saving oodles of Delta V. Oh! Perfect. And we make sure we add this to the same stage. Perfect. And then we're going to save... And then we're going to launch. And it's definitely the launch site, the man. Yep. And you, because I'm paranoid. And I know how slow the console is to load. <laughs> yep. Oh, definitely. I don't think I've forgotten anything. We've got parachutes. We've got electrical generation. We've got the science. We've got uh, engines. That's one you don't forget. <laughs> mm. Just got a glass of water on my desk with ice in it. Uh, in the UK, we're having a bit of a heat wave right now. I know there's going to be Americans in the comments saying, Oh, lol, it's it's only like... Oh, well, that's 
dark, isn't it? How to turn the lights on. Oh, it's only like 30 degrees Celsius in your country. But don't forget, our houses are literally designed to contain heat in the winter. And we don't have air conditioning in any building except maybe the major big shops, which I don't really leave my house anymore. So there we are. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there we are. We can see the launch site. How do I zoom out? Look at that! That's pretty nifty. How do I... Can I disable the, um... I'm sure there is a button. I've just forgotten it. Is it... Oh, it's not that one. <laughs> uh... Is it... Um, hang on, hang on. I, I'm gonna remember this. Oh, so we want free cam. Now that's that one. That is the thing. Oh, then I'm sure... Is it these... Nope. Oh, it doesn't matter. There it is. The, um... Oh, we need to control from here. That would be good, wouldn't it? Control from here. So I can't disable the UI, but you get the gist of it. There we are. It's very... Can I just... I'll probably enhance this in post, maybe. So... Can I zoom out? Let's look at this one. Like I say, it's a shame that this isn't available on PC and presumably will never be on PC now because PC's received its last update except for the ground anchor bit. <laughs> okay, so let's get a turn on this. Oh, look at that Delta V. See, guys, you had nothing to worry about. So, let's turn on SAS. What's the button for throttle again? Uh, 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 not that. Um... I don't do the throttle. I'm, okay, that's pitch. I, I don't want to Google it. I know this. I know it. Oh, how do you do the throttle? Oh my god, this is really upsetting me on an emotional level. Surely the throttle has got to be a fairly intuitive button to bind, right? I'm pressing every button on this controller. Oh, that's the camera again. So SAS has its own dedicated button, but not throttle, apparently. Why is it not just L and R? Oh, because that's roll. Okay. Um, I am literally pressing every single button on the controller. <gasps> that was so loud. Um, okay, well, we haven't got throttle. Well, the throttle's down now. So how do I get the throttle up? That's action groups. Ah! Oh, it's up and down on the D-pad. Of course it is. Why would it be anything else? <laughs> oh, God. I'm not even launching it. I wanted the 90-degree vector ideally, but it's... You know, it's fine as long... Oh, my God. The roll control is horrible. Why is my... I think I've messed up the pitch in your. I must have added, like... Hang on. Revert flight. Look at the pitch in your indicators on the bottom left. Well, they've gone now. But they were like... They had, they had like, locked them or something. So, okay. Now I figured out the throttle control. It's fine, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a start. Oh, and it's not even... I can't even see anything again. Let's just... Uh, oh. Is that gonna... There we go. Oh. Oh, no, 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 that's too fast. Oh, for God's... How do you guys play on console? <laughs> you have my utmost respect. Right, control from here. We want to turn the lights on. That'd be nice. Turn on SAS. Throttle up. <laughs> and these are definitely... Okay, and then we probably don't want... Is it like... Yes, it's L1 to get the fine throttle. We all want half, right? Oh, that is beautiful. And there's no atmosphere, so let's just do our gravity turn now. Just want to make sure we get definitely clear of this crater. Now, whilst it's doing that, let's get our maneuver node things up. And then we can see, you know, we've got our, what is effectively Kerbal Engineer. Oh, and let's get this up as well. 
And there we are, we're just coasting. So guys, I can finally get to the, uh, the commentary part of this video, and that is, uh, what did I do to my hand? Well, I'll tell you, funny story, or... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> just, uh... You know, it's fine. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry, everyone. Oh, I wish I could minimize the nav ball. There we are. Anyway, yes, funny story. <laughs> I was cooking pasta. And you guys are familiar with how you cook pasta, right? You boil it in a pan. And then it came to draining the water. And I just walked the pan over to the sink. And I guess I was a bit heavy-footed or something. The pan didn't have a lid on it. And as I was walking over to the sink, the pasta inside the pan sloshed. And uh, just basically slopped water. And it all went onto the back of my hand. And, like, in this scenario, you would instinctively put the pan down immediately and run the pan under water. Because, like... I, I'm an idiot. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I need, I need to put the pan down somewhere safe because it will damage my worktop, so I've got to find the, the, the cooling rack. And I spent probably about five, ten seconds, which is a huge amount of time when you're dealing with a burn, uh, just trying to find a safe spot to put the pan down. So I put it down, then went to the sink and ran it under cold water, and literally I, st I stood there for about ten minutes just running it under the cold tap, and it just, as soon as I took it out from the water, it immediately just started to absolutely kill like really really hurt i'll do a quick save by the way uh save game sure um it, it was just really really hurt so i'm like okay this is um this is not good so eventually i like took i had my pasta but i what i did was because i work in kind of the medical field i have like a little bag of um of tricks which are when i'm working at like a gp surgery or something rather than at the hospital i'll like have to take some of my own stuff and in my own little my personal kit come on time warp just open up all oh, right i'm below five thousand. me thanks mum. <laughs> yeah but as part of my kit i have like surgical tape that lets you like ad adhere stuff to skin so i literally took a bag of peas and just taped it to my like a placed it on the burned part of my hand and then took this roll of surgical tape and just wrapped it around my hand and the bag of peas just to try and keep the hand cool. Now, I'm not condoning this as a correct medical procedure. What you should do, guys, if you burn your hands, go to A&E. But I didn't because it was really late at night and I thought, oh, I can just treat this myself out of, you know, ignorance. So anyway, fast forward a few days and it's really starting to blister. Like, there's a big blister on the back of my hand. And um, I had to put gloves on and putting the glove on burst the blister. And bursting a blister is a, a bad thing to do because a blister is kind of like nature's band-aids, right? They like have antiseptics and antibacterial stuff inside them to keep the wound safe. Once you pop it, it's like open season. So um, upon the blister popping over the next few days, the wound on my hand where the blister was, which is actually, it's kind of on my pointy finger, that's where it was, uh, it really started to get red, and then it started to go yellow, and there were dark spots on it, and it was very pussy and smelly, and I'm like, okay. So it's definitely infected. <laughs> so I went, so on Sunday night, I, oh my god, I'm about to apple apps this. Oh, point prograde. Come on, come on, come on. How do I open the map screen? Ah, uh, there we are. It, it's not the end of the world. It's fairly easy to recover from this situation. Oh, come on. It's so slow. There we are. Lovely. Anyway, as I was saying, before I rudely interrupted myself, was, um... Oh, no, no, no. don't want to warp there. Okay, hang on. I can't. I cannot tell tales and also focus on what I'm trying to do. On this, at the same time, um, normally what you would do is you would you would just go to low Kerbin orbit first and perform the burn to Juna at Apoapsis around Kerbin um, because that's more efficient. But honestly, it's not a huge gain, and quite frankly, it just adds a huge amount of complication to this to this mission. As in, when I say huge amount of complication, I mean I don't know how to use the maneuver nodes properly. Like, oh for God's sake, like how do I get that up? And then I want the yellow. There we go. I want it. I want the yellow. Oh, so let's just do that. Okay. And then I want no. Um, so I want to click the menu again. Then I go left and right. Right up, oh, up and down even. And then we can just see. Get that thing in the right way. That's good. I want to drop that down. 
what would have been a good idea as well would be to um, set Juno as our target. That would have been a good idea. Um, I guess I was kind of hoping it would just get a Juno encounter and I can just flex. But I mean, you know, this is the wrong video to try and make claims I'm really good at this version of the game. <laughs> Um, I think that's probably fine, and then we can just do a mid-course correction burn. Uh, how do I do... Oh, so, that's the yellow. How do I do the, the other ones on the maneuver node? That's probably fine. So, we get that, right? And then I go back and click it again, and then we go up and down. Can I get a junior encounter? Please, please. Like, I feel like it's there. Like, game, just give it, give me this. <laughs> give it to me. Literally, getting an encounter with Juno is, like, so trivial on PC. But it's just, I'm I'm really bad at these controls. Like, my usual methodology is I just kind of get, do what I did here, but it's just way faster because of the mouse and keyboard. Y you know what, that's fine. We'll, we'll just do a mid-course correction burn to get the encounter. I can't imagine it's going to be a huge Delta V expenditure. So, um... So yes, uh, back to the story. Actually, I'm going to make a quick save first. Save game, quick save, save. Right. And what's the time? I really should probably learn the hotkey for time warp, but you know what? I don't care. Oh, please just keep it open if the mouse is here. Thank you. So it's 42 minutes and I can't warp any faster than that. So that's great. So I went to Amy. And literally, there was a, 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 a person there, like either a nurse or a doctor, I'm not sure, they were just wearing scrubs, so it's hard to tell sometimes. Uh, and they said the waiting time is currently uh, 10 hours. And I'm like, okay, great. Well, it's 7pm on a Sunday night. I've got work tomorrow, but let's just let's just ride this train together. Uh, luckily, when I saw the triage nurse, she just triaged me as only needing to see a nurse practitioner, so I didn't have to wait anywhere near as long. So I ended up seeing the nurse practitioner maybe a couple of hours after I initially arrived at a &E. And luckily, she did a thorough clean of the burn, and uh, I lay down on a bed, I popped my hand on, like, this table next to me, and she took a scalpel and, like, a pair of surgical scissors. Oh! Sorry, I just overshot my, uh... Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, took about, and she basically just cut away all the dead skin, and by the end, like all the yellowed bits, all the black bits had come off, and the, it just looked red and raw, but ultimately didn't look too infected, or just, I guess, infected at all, which was excellent. So thank you, nurse practitioner, who did that. That was really great. Big shout out to the team, by the way. Uh, all A&E departments uh, everywhere are having a hard time at the moment because of the current situation. So I'm grateful I could be seen, and yeah, since then I've just had it in a dressing. Uh, so my whole finger's been like covered up by like a, it's like a sock for your finger, a bandage, if you will. And um, I kind of put a, a tube bandage around my hand so I could anchor that finger bandage in place because I found like I had a real tendency to ride up the finger. So I just sort of safety pinned it to a bandage around my hand, and that helped keep it stable. And uh, three, two, one. There we go. That's or oh, can we get that? Oh, never mind. Sweet. So, what I'll do is I'll just do my mid-course correction burn uh, on the mid-course as it... Oh, for, there we are. So that, that's the story of my hand. I, I did think about putting some accompanying pictures on screen of when it looked really pussy and horrible, but you guys probably don't want to see that. And I did consider adding, like, a hand cam to this commentary, again, just to sort of make things a bit more funny so you can see me struggling and sweating just trying to hold the controller uh but again you know you oh i got an achievement yes yeah so an anyway um it, it's 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 really hot in this room guys i said earlier i was we were in the middle of a heat wave and i was like oh i know americans are gonna scoff saying oh that's nothing that's what it's like all the time for us but yeah you have air-conditioned houses mate and you're used to it and your houses are, like, made to be cool. Like, they're not designed to keep heat in to the extent that British houses are. So, this is going to be really embarrassing if I can't now get a Juno encounter. But let's have a... Let's take a shot. So, it looks like... Oh, it's just really hard. I, I want to do the blue. I was trying to do the blue earlier. I can only get the pink and the yellow to... Okay, well, that doesn't work. So, I want the maneuver node. I guess yet the yellows, as in prograde retrograde, is all I can do. Um, just maneuver node, right. 
Uh, that's fine. So I don't want the yellows. How do I do the others? Oh, did that? Did I get a junior? Did I just ma imagine that? Yes, I did. Uh, no. See, I need the I need the blues. Oh, it's difficult. Okay. Um, so triangle. Nope, that's still yellow. Oh, there's a legend on screen. Oh, this is. <laughs> Kids, just um, if you use your eyes when playing video games, as it turns out, it's quite helpful. I guess that's the difference between like someone that's so used to playing on PC that you don't instinctively think to look for new pieces of UI. Uh, that's gotta be it, mate. Surely that's like an encounter. Maybe I just don't know how to play KSP. I've just been wrong all these years. It's just, it would be nice if I could zoom in and not have the massive UI. Like, I feel like, I know this is for console. I feel like the UI is, is excessively big and I can now see that my inclination is off and that's why I haven't been able to get it in. <gasps> I got it. I got the encounter. Oh, beautiful. And uh, there we are. 24 second burn. Let's go ahead. I thought I cancelled it. Let's go ahead and point oh, no, that way, please. Thank you. Uh, yes, it's very warm. So if I if my speech sounds slurred or um, you just hear a sudden thud as I collapse, that's why. Uh, it's very warm. Okay, and then I want to time warp around to that maneuver node. So let's let's do this. Oh, it's so slow. Okay, it's a bit faster now. <laughs> and it's 24 second, but the 24 second, but that seems like a very excessive burn. I mean, it's fine. I've got the Delta V to brute force it. I probably wasn't paying attention to how much uh, orbital change I was making with the blue and yellow nodes. Although I guess inclination change is quite expensive. And I could have optimized the location of my maneuver node, but honestly, I don't care. So now what I'll do, if the cursor is going to come back, is at the... Oh, I'm just going to zoom out. And then I'm going to Bring the mouse back, please. Now, when this is about to finish, I'm just going to close this and then just manually watch the grey indicator nodes. Oh, that Perfect. Now let's go to Juno. On the map screen. We're not quite there yet. Oh, just zoom in. Oh, my. Sorry, guys. Bit, bit stressed. So the zoom button is no longer working. It's L and R, or unless... Oh, no, that's rotation. Okay, it's you got to get the mouse in order to zoom in. So... So I want to burn, like, a bit more... Like this. Oh, not that much. Uh, okay, so now I've got... You can see what I'm doing a bit more easily. Let's make another maneuver node. Like, whoop, oh, like there. Yep. Okay, and then I wanna no nope, no. Nope. Okay, well that went well, didn't it? Just 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 get it back to zero. Oh my gosh, yeah, I was definitely making bigger change than I thought, because literally just the twitch of the thumbstick is adding like a hundred meters per second of delta V. Get that is that down to oh down to down to thing is it lags right oh my god no, it's just like I just this game just does not belong on console. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate the whole oh, PC Master Race console wars thing, but this control scheme, it just doesn't work, guys. It just, like, oh, there we go. Right, add maneuver. Let's try this again. So I'm just going to go straight to inclination. There we are. That's what I wanted to do. You know what? I don't even need a maneuver node. I don't even know why I'm bothering. I can just do this myself. <laughs> don't need you. Watch me now mess it up spectacularly. Whew, I'm going to have a glass of cold water. Oh. Okay, and here we go. That's fine. I no, nah, we need we want, I want to try and get equatorial because I don't want to have to I just can't even face docking, quite frankly, on console. <laughs> Oh, I should have made this. A, I should have done a direct ascent to Juno mission. I concede 
that would have been the sensible thing to do. And then I want Prograde. I think... It's a bit too late in the day for me to think about the... Yeah, I'm recording this Friday night. It, and this is going to be tomorrow's video. So I really hope this goes well. Otherwise, there just won't be a video tomorrow. And I'm using a new capture car that I've not actually tested properly. So uh, that's another risk. Oh! Ah! My god, like literally, the slightest twitch on the controls is like... Well, to be fair, the Wolf Hand is just a very powerful engine. Just gonna go... Just... Tap the... Tap the... Tap the... They're fine, good. And then we'll go retrograde. We're getting there, guys. Oh my god, this video is so long. I'm so sorry. I was like, this should be a quick bish bash 20 minute jobby. And it literally took me 20 minutes to just build the craft. And it's hardly... You know, an impressive. Oh, like it's just. I'm not gonna air break. It's fine. Oh, and now it's just changed the focus. It is too warm in this room. It doesn't help that I've had to like. I have to like close the window. And always not get like the. Uh, not disturb the neighbours and also close the close the curtains so I don't get too much of an echo. And I got my big PC running and I got a PS4 Pro running and the PS4 Pro is not a happy boy. Uh, it's really right, so just oh my god! Literally, I cannot physically throttle up for a short enough time, and I just can't be asked to go through the menus here and change the thrust limiter. Okay, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> so I just expect it to be like a whole. 10 minute process on console. Right, let's try this one more time. One more time. Maybe I should maybe I should have live streamed this. Just to really annoy people. Okay, Juno's atmosphere is 50. So they're fine. Whatever. It's good enough. Uh we're gonna oh, not that much. Six, so that leaves us with like lots of delta V to get back to Kerbin. That gives us like 2,000 meters per second of delta V. And just make sure that's definitely circular. 68 and 76. It's not circular, but it's close enough. And that's really all I care about <laughs> at this point. So where's my cursor gone? There it is. Thrust limiter back up to full. Right, and then we're going to make a quick save. Because I ain't doing that again. Right, we're gonna just, just, oh, please, please. Like, why would it minimize when the cursor is over that piece of the UI? Right, and we're gonna open up the map screen, zoom out, and let's see where we are. There we go. We're just gonna wait. I'm gonna have a glass of water and a, oh, that's better. I've got like a spray bottle of, of like ice water just to, condition, like, air condition myself. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I really should be, really should be having some whiskey right now, shouldn't I? That's what's going to get me through. <laughs> Don't really know what else to, um, to add at this point. I'm just waiting. How, how has your day been? I know I make this joke probably too often, and then where I was like, aha, I'm going to have a pretend conversation with the viewer. I'm sorry, by the way, about this. I mean, people don't really watch these console. But I mean, my KSP views, to be fair, recently have been dreadful. I'm not quite sure why, because I don't think I've, like, made any drastic, dramatic changes in my content that would necessitate people to suddenly stop watching. I've done a lot of, um... People were acu uh, criti not accusing me, but like criticizing my Space Race speedrun series of being too Western centric. Even though I did say from the beginning that I was going to do the American missions first and then do the Russian ones. But the thing is, it's like a bunch of hypocrites because I did the American ones and they got lots of views. And now I'm doing the Soviet ones and suddenly no one's watching them. And I'm like, wow, well, you know, you've got to vote. Like, so I might not even bother doing the rest of the Soyuz missions, because they're literally getting like like they're up uh, they're they're getting less views than space this week, which uh, is Juno by the way. This is what Juno looks like. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. 
Um, you know, if you guys aren't enjoying the content, then clearly there's something wrong with the content. I've got to mix it up. Now it's, now this is probably not the way in which it should be mixed up, but whatever. Uh, oh, and I'm going to do the burn. I should have started burning about 32 seconds before the node because that's kind of half of the overall burn time, which is the best time to start your burn. So if the burn was a minute, start burning 30 seconds before the maneuver node. And that's, uh, that's how you get an efficient burn. And there we are. And I think Bob is already inside the capsule, so we can just go ahead and immediately detach. And I'm really paranoid. Just make sure that crossfeed hasn't turned on good. And that, and this tank, and this tank, no, the tank, there we go, yep, perfect. Very nice. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Oh, zoom in. Why is the zoom in button no longer zooming in? Hey, it doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> Five, four, I'm just watching the, um, Apoapsis and periapsis things on the bottom left. Uh, oh! So now, bit of a disaster because periapsis is inside the atmosphere. So that could have gone better, all things considered. Oh yeah, don't forget, although we've said we've got 2,000 meters per second left, this is with the um, massive heavy lander attached, which is obviously going to be detached <laughs> when it comes to actually doing our journey back to Kerbin. So we've actually got way more fuel than we really need. I just wanted to make sure I had enough room for error in the likely event of disaster. Right, so we're going to do a quick save. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, quick save. Duna... Oop. D Duna... Duna... Uh, uh, sure, whatever. Save. So, right, we're going to decouple... Ugh. Nope. Um, right, then we're going to time warp around to the dark side of the planet. And then whilst we're doing that, we're going to start setting things up. So let's do retrograde. Bob is in. Good. <laughs> and then what I'll do is we'll cancel that. Don't need that. Well, probably when I get to like here, maybe I'll start doing the deceleration burn just because I don't want to land on the dark side because it'll be too dark. It'll be way too dark. You won't be able to see anything. Uh, we've already seen how dark the surface of the mum was. I imagine Junior is going to be a very similar story. It's nice to see that our electric charge is full, which means the solar panels are definitely working despite their small size. Oh, and the game's dropped me out of time warp. Isn't that thoughtful? Right, I guess now is as good a time as any to uh, point retrograde and perform can't see, so we're just going to go for it. Oh, what? Why have you minimized? There we are. Alright, periapsis. Let's drop it to like... That's good, yeah, sure. <laughs> cool. And then... Yes, close the map screen now. Nope. Uh, how do I... Just that. There we are. Right, cool. And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, time warp down. Now, this is going to be like the boring bit because, um, well, it's boring now and I haven't even entered the atmosphere, but I haven't got better time warp installed because obviously this is a console, not a PC. So I haven't got any of my precious mods. Better time warp is a dre is the dream for Duna atmospheric entry because, as you can see, it takes ages. Look how slowly we're descending. Duna's atmosphere is so thin that it doesn't really provide any meaningful drag until you're like super duper low down. Uh, which means that a lot of the uh, atmospheric entry is spent just cruising at high altitude on max physics time warp, just waiting to get low enough to perform the landing sequence. This is definitely deployed, isn't it? Uh, disarm, yeah, okay, it's deployed. We'll do the uh, landing gear, because I'll forget to do that <laughs> when the time comes. Uh, maybe when the atmospheric gauge gets to that second tier, I'll start thinking about dropping out of time warp. Not uh, dropping out of time warp. Um, make it a quick save. That's what I was going to say. It's really hard to concentrate. It's very warm in this room, as I've mentioned now too many times. Not just in this video, but in general. I'm always saying, oh, it's, it's been a long day, guys. It's been very wham. <laughs> so it's exciting. Where are we going to land? It's Duna. 
the first ever Kerbal to land on Juna. And we've done no science, and I'm aware of this. But guys, like I've said that I've just... I've got no interest in playing console KSP after this mission. Uh, I'm only playing it really because people were saying, Oh, you never showed us the, um, the Mun launch site, and that was kind of the whole point of the series. And I've also now injured my hand, which is the whole reason, not this particular hand injury, but the last hand injury I had. Um, the whole reason I got the PS4 to do these videos was because I couldn't play on keyboard very well. So I thought, well, you know, it's kind of a nice nostalgia trip. If people are nostalgic with this series, I hope not. Um, I'm going to make a quick save because this is taking absolute ages, isn't it? Um, yeah, I've got nothing else to say, really. Let's just uh, continue watching Bob's. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying, wasn't it? It was, um, I've got no interest in playing console KSP ever again after this, so I've got no need for the science because I'm not going to be able to unlock the entire tech tree in this flight. So, what's the point? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to make any meaningful achievement. I've shown you the Mun launch site, I've seen it with my own eyes. I'm satisfied. Hopefully, you guys are somewhat okay with this video. So, um, I I'm happy to call it here after this. Joe, I'm really worried. I'm really worried about docking. I'm just having a think about it now. Like, it took me so much effort to get an encounter with Juna, which is, like, so trivial <laughs> that I'm kind of worried about being able to get an encounter and dock with our mothership. I might just get a close encounter and EVA Bob, Bob across. Now... Are we getting close to the ground? I think we are. Oh god, drop out a time warp! Oh, it's so slow! Disable physics time warp, please! There we are. I don't know if that's too late. Just do a quick burn. Are the parachutes going to deploy? There we are. So, um, yeah, to, I'm just going to wait. It does feel novel to play the game with music. I don't know if I'll... The music recordings never really work in these videos for some reason. But uh, I normally don't play with music on, on in Kerbal Space Program because I add my own music in post. And when I'm doing time warp and stuff, it kind of distorts the soundtrack and stuff to the point where it's really distracting and annoying. So, uh, I, I tend to just play KSP without the music. So, hearing the music in-game is kind of novel. I didn't, I've forgotten that, like, the music still plays when the, inside the atmosphere of another planet. And here we are just touching down. Let's set this to, uh, probably should have done this. Oh, it's, the frame rate's so bad. Probably should have done that initially. But there we are, 10 meters per second. We're going to try and make, maybe touch down at, like, 5 meters per second or under. So, let's start dropping that speed down. Bit of a clench just then, not gonna lie. Right, now we're gonna make a quick save. Uh, edit. Duna. Surface. Save, cool. Okay, now we can do some science. So, how do I do that again? There we are, oh. Beautiful. So yeah, like I say, I could have got way more science out of this mission if I'd actually, you know, done science at every point in the mission, like you you would do if you were trying to get loads of science, but couldn't be bothered. <laughs> so now we're going to just uh, whoop, get him off. And there we are. We're going to just try and zoom in. And there, oh, so now it worked, the UI button. I tried doing that before, it didn't work. I just pressed the little the trackpad thing on the PS4 thing uh controller uh where's plant flag that's the most important thing that's the thing we need to do does console even have eva construction by the way i didn't even check i don't even know if it, if it does yeah whatever i don't care uh ba, 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 takes up a sample fine i can't be bothered to do an eva report let's just go <laughs> let's just go now how do i turn his jetpack on oh that would be a good thing to know about right about now. There we are. Cool, cool, cool. And we are just ascending. Oh, nope. Let's try that again. Luckily, we've got a f we've got a lot of fuel, so we've got a few attempts here. 
Uh, grab. And board. Yes! I'm so happy. And you know what? I think I might just try and get back to the mothership now. It's a completely the wrong position, but I don't care. Uh, we can just... we can just That's a problem for future Matt to worry about. So we're going to just uh, try and zoom it. Oh my god, I got so much fuel. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I've massively overbuilt every phase of this mission, but whatever. That's probably for the best. With my console skills. So quick save. S... Uh, two. Good as any, right? Okay, so let's just uh, go ahead and throttle up. So it's to do the gentle throttle. It's like this, isn't it? And we're going to do the gear. Cool. And then we can just, uh, let me just rise, I guess. Can I zoom out a bit? There we are. And it's just going really well, you know? I'm going to set this to orbit, right? Uh, there we are. Oh, and how's that looking? So now I want to zoom in a bit. Oh, that frame rate though. <laughs> uh, then, uh, so we're pointing this way a bit. A bit more that way. Or up, up. This is is soaring up. We probably don't want to go that fast. I should probably do to catch up to our uh, vessel. <laughs> Mothership. Yeah, we probably want to start flying way flatter, don't we? <laughs> Let's just point towards the target. Oh, look at those separation nodes. They're going to come together beautifully, guys. Trust me. I'm a rocket scientist, kind of. Not really. <laughs> uh... So our apapsis is now in space, which is good. Cool, let's just let's just leave it there. Whatever, sure. Oh, it is dropping fast, isn't it? Let's just keep burning at a, a decent pace. At a decent little wick. And what's our altitude? Can I tell from this screen? Yeah, it's fine. So let's um Let's just ditch the surplus mass now, right? You know, we didn't technically need to. Right, now we're going to make a quick save. Probably a bad idea, right? Um, probably, I bet my endeavor to have a fast ascent and rendezvous is going to backfire horribly. But let's go for it anyway. So, uh, yeah, I want it on the apoapsis marker, please. Let's just uh, let's just do that and see what happens. Can I get these? Yeah, I didn't really expect this to work perfectly. <laughs> see what I can do. See what I'm gonna do here. We've got loads of Delta V to play around with. We can come up with something, I'm sure. I want this. Just to, oh, not that much. See, I can just see. Watch the little purple. I can just make it swing around. I will just, oh, just make it swing around, and I just, I can't get the precision that I need. But I'd say that looks like it would be fairly close. Oh, oh my goodness. You know what? That's fine. Because <laughs> it's not going to be dead on. Now, this is like a stupid rendezvous, but it's quick, and that's what I care about, really. Can I get, like, sure I can do it in less orbits than that. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Never mind. Really? Have I just not done a very good job? Oh, just there. Up, uh, up. Uh. We're going to go for it and just see what happens. Can I just get a bit of fine tune? How do you guys do missions like... Oh, that's pretty good. What's the separation? 4.9 kilometers. You know what? I will take that. Oh, burn time. Oh, I thought I said 21 seconds to the burn, but it's not. Right, so let's go ahead and point towards the maneuver node, please. And then we'll just uh, time warp. So let's do uh, two minutes. Oh, can I go a bit faster? So it's a 20 minute, 21 second burn. So we're going to start burning about 10 seconds before the maneuver node. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. Oh, never mind. That went well, didn't it? 
the nice thing about having like a really big burn is it's a bit easier to be a bit more accurate. Like tiny little burns I find is really hard to get dead on with the controller. Now to be honest, what would Oh! Where did the cursor go? That's really annoyed me. So. Oh, it's so hard. Yes! Come on! Just gonna, just gonna quickly whack this down. Yep. Wherever it was, please. It's really difficult how the cursor and the nav will have the same controls. You know what? That, I, that That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, uh, I guess now what we'll do is I'm going to zoom out. Oh, zoom out. That's fine. Let's make a, uh, a quick save. Let's quick save. Sure, right. And then we're going to time warp. Time warp, please. Oh, look. Like, why does it just minimize sometimes? There we are. And I hate these nanny... <laughs> when Gay's like, no, you can't do that. we got to tell you when you can time warp. Like, just let me time warp. Let me be free. It's not as egregious as the whole quick... Cannot quick save when about to crash, even though I'm not about to crash. Oh, it doesn't drop me out of time warp, though, does it? So what I'm going to do now is going to just set this thing to target. Retrograde... And then when's this? Separation five foot. That's in, that's in uh, nine minutes. I'm probably going to start the burn like ten seconds before that point. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up. Oh. Right, and then. 200 meters per second burst. It's probably not going to take that long, is it? <gasps> oh, God! I didn't take the thrust limiter off. Oh. That was a close one. <laughs> and there's the target. Epic. Oh, God. I'm so, I'm so, so relieved that I've got, I've done the difficult bit of the ascent. Like, I, I got, I, do this is not a tutorial. Do not dock this way. This way is a dumb way to dock. But you know what? It worked. So, you know, I'll take it. I've got 500 meters per second of delta V to get to the craft. I think we can do it. I think we can do it the lazy way, where we just point towards the target and we just we just go. We just yeet the engine. Where is the look at that separation? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So then we just have to just wait, I guess. Oh, the music! So it's pumping. It's it's coming, and there we are. Oh, just get a time warp now. Watch me manage to somehow massively screw this up. That's two, one. Oh, ah! I massively screwed it up. Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, it's there. Just a point retrograde, quick. I forgot I'm not as quick with the controller as I am with the mouse and keyboard. Uh, I'm not going to do time warp. I'm going to spray myself with some cold water. Oh, that feels good. Don't <laughs> so you guys could pick up the spray bottle sound. It's like spraying ice water on my forehead. Ooh. Then we're going to go kayaking this weekend. I've got a kayaking video for you guys, by the way. It's on my second channel. It's not out yet. I'm going to upload it to my second channel when I can be bothered. To uh, add on to my, um, I've been uploading a lot of cycling content recently. I bought a GoPro and mounted it to my bike. And if you, uh, for the three of you still watching, you guys are probably the same people that watch my second channel. So this isn't really for you, is it? But I've been uploading cycling videos to my second channel. And I'm getting some good feedback on those. Now let's see if we can do the loud lazy method of docking. Um, how do I switch vessels? Aha! Then we're going to target that. 
and target. We're going to set the thrust limiter down to like nothing. And then I'm going to make a quick save, you know, because if there's one thing I've learned is that we need to make lots of quick saves. And I'm just going to go ahead and just coast them together and see if this works. Uh, 0.5 is probably a safe speed. Now watch. Here we see two spacecraft in the wild performing the mating ritual. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Okay, so now I want to zoom in. And we're just going to get Bob. Where are you? No, nope, EVA. We're going to get to take all the data somehow by squinting really hard. No, 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 up. Take the data. Collect data. Yes. Remove the data. Take the data. I feel like this is really great content, isn't it? You just watch me awkwardly click buttons. Oh, did I not do the barometer? Oh, I have to. I, you know what? I don't need it. Don't need the experiment. Just say it malfunctioned. It's like a real space program or something. Okay, and then we need to take the data from the cabin also. And then we want to store the data. Never mind. Oh, God's sake, I pressed the wrong button. Because, of course, circle is not the back button, is it? <laughs> right, let's try that one more time. I'm going to do is... For a split second, I was getting worried after the whole thing again, but I don't do I. I just take it from the capsule again. So, yes, space... Uh, sorry, square. No, X, I would feel, would be the button to let go, uh, to enter the capsule, and circle would be to let go, because circle's like the back button. No, oh, whatever. And I want to get his jetpack out. We're, we're going to get there, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. We've we've done well getting this far. Oh, my God. This is where it all goes wrong, isn't it? I literally am unable to control him. Oh, mama, this is difficult. There we go. We're getting there. Where's the capsule hatch? There it is. I mean, ironically, this would be one of the places where the controller would be a strength, but the thing is, is that I just don't know the controls well enough for it to be able to work. So it's not a huge... We're going to shut down this engine. And we're going to... Oh, right, yeah, we need to use the pin button, don't we? And then pin... Out. Out. Sick. And you know what? I know at Laun Aerospace, we never leave debris in space, but this is Potato Aerospace. We don't care. <laughs> That's our phrase. We don't care. Okay, now I have no idea how much Delta V we've got, because the game has now decided I've got no Delta V, but I think it was like 2,000 meters a second, wasn't it? Before, um... And we got enough, basically, to get back to Kerbin. So now I'm going to save. The Juno mission part is done, so... Uh, I could even just... I could just end the video here and then just fade across to me doing my Kerbin re-entry. Uh, right, Kerbin. Set as target. Um, we're, gonna just, we're just going to brute force a Kerbin encounter. Ba 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 sure. See, like, it takes barely any Delta V to escape Juno's sphere of influence, so we're going to make a Duvinode like that. Just going to pull it out a bit, and then that's fine. Because then the magic comes into play when I figure out how to close this window. We zoom in very awkwardly. Just at the at this point here-ish. We're going to make a maneuver node uh, just just here. Sure. Now watch and learn, kids. This is quite an expensive burn, actually. Oh, the nav ball, just go away. <laughs> just watch them swing around. Oh, and there's our Kerbin encounter. No transfer. Oh, don't have to wait for transfer windows. And it sort of lags. Okay, that's fine. You know, that's that's okay. I'm happy with this. So, save the maneuver node. 
so this is 376, and this is so it's only be a thousand that about a thousand meters per second of delta V, which I know this ship has, so it's fine. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready to execute everything that we just planned. So we're going to point towards the maneuver node, make a save. Uh, actually, I'm going to make a custom quick save because I feel like this is a big part in the mission. Uh, Lee, just in case, like, the capture corrupts after this point. This happened to me before where the capture is corrupt after a certain point. So rather than having to do the whole mission again, I can just reload a quick save of when the corruption happened and just film the mission from there rather than do the whole thing again. The only time that's ever happened to me is during Juno missions, actually, which is a good omen, isn't it? Okay, so... Can we go a bit faster? No, I guess not. The game doesn't want us to go any faster, so we're going to have to just wait. Mm. I love this. I'm having a kind of um, monster energy. I guess most of you guys live in the States, and so you have a lot more monster energy flavors than we do in Bing Bong Land. But uh, it's the Ultra Fiesta flavor. Zero sugar, which is good, because, um, you know, trying to be a bit healthier and all that. And uh, But it tastes so nice. And it's really what I need, that caffeine boost to get me through boiling sweat box playthroughs of Kerbal Space Program. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Did you guys see the Kerbal Effect video with me in it? That was when I'd like broken my hand. That was like 10 weeks in and I'd done basically no exercise because I, I couldn't do any exercise. And the thing is that I'm normally quite skinny. Um, and this is only because I have a terrible diet, but I'm able to out outrun my terrible diet by doing lots of exercise. Turns out once you take away my ability to do exercise, the weight quickly comes on. So I'm I'm on a bit of a diet. I'm doing more exercise. Well, I haven't done any exercise this week uh, because I've had my hand injury and I've noticed I've probably put on like a couple of kilos. So I really should actually cut back when I can't exercise. But I just, I guess I just love food. Anyway. Oh my gosh, please can I go a little bit faster game? Like, really? Oh, look, we're about to get to 6,000. It's okay. 60,000. Yes! Yes! Oh, isn't that, isn't that liberating? Can I go any faster? No, I'm not going to... Oh, no, my app perhaps is, is 100,000. So we'll be able to do it for like a couple of minutes. Whatever, this is better. And I think the game, once you're in the time... Oh, there's our lander. Isn't that fun? Uh, once you're like in the time warp, it won't drop you out of that time warp. So let's see if we can go a bit faster. Oh, this is okay. Never mind. Take it. Yeah, take that back. It's dropped us out. Oh, we're, not even, we're not even halfway through the time warp. What wasn't it like two hours? Two second burn. Is that right? That doesn't seem right for a seven hundred meter per second burn. So I'm gonna take that with a big grain of salt. At the end of the day, accuracy is not a huge deal for this point in the mission because we just need to get an orbit around the sun that intersects Kerbin's orbit, and then. You know, once we've got that, then we'll make the maneuver node that's going to brute force our encounter. Oh, and it's dropped the time warp value again. I might just time warp through this whole thing, like in, as in like time lapses in post, because this is ridiculous. This is taking ages. I'm like, either I'm going to speed this up and nobody is, is hearing me say this, or I'm going to just leave it in and you guys can suffer. You guys can suffer. You can be grateful and you can suffer like I suffered. Whew. Oh, I got a new toy this week, by the way. This is fun. So, um, you know, I was just sitting in my evenings. I can't go for a bike ride or anything because I'll exacerbate my wound. So I was just, you know, on my laptop in my kitchen, just depressed, just browsing Amazon. And I decided to treat myself to a headphone amp because when I edit these videos, I use um, Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee headphones, which are great headphones, by the way. Um... I'm just keeping an eye on the timer and everything. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, they're, they're really good, but my computer cannot drive them. They're like 150 ohms, I think. So the computer can power them, but they're very quiet. So I've always plugged them into my speakers and used my speakers inbuilt amplifier to boost the volume, but it doesn't sound great, ideally, because they're just they're just Logitech computer systems. They don't have an amazing amp in them. So I bought a Fio K5 Pro headphone amp and DAC, and it uh, sounds great. Really, really like it. So highly recommend that. I mean, I'm sorry, where is my... It's not a long... Like, I just messed this up or something. What? I've gone past the maneuver node. Are you joking? Are you, are you screwing with me right now? What? 
Mate, this is obviously glitched out. That is super annoying. I was thinking it's taking ages. 38 minutes. That's better, isn't it? I'm an idiot. This is the problem with, you know, me working so... Oh, my God. And then just, like, the zoom out, it also changes the camera angle, because of course it does. Let's just try that again now. Right. Fine. That's fine. Well, that's way bigger burn than what it was before. That's probably because I've done it wrong, isn't it? If I can just... It's just, I hate... I literally... It's not even a joke to me anymore. I hate this version of KSV. I know hate is a strong word, but I actually despise this version of KSV. Oh, my God. Right. So now I don't have any grey manoeuvre encounters. Right, so that's better. And let's just make sure it will still brute force me. Just make sure it will actually brute force that. There, sure, why not? Okay, yep, so we can still brute force the encounters, I guess. We just can't have more than one manoeuvre, though, because the game doesn't know how to handle that. Is that what caused the glitch? I don't know. But this works, so fine. Let's try that one more time. Well, I guess I can't, I don't know how I can meaningfully time lapse through that bit now. So, uh, I guess I can do like a, a welcome, if I, if I choose to, I don't even know. Literally sweat is pouring down my forehead. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not, this is why I can't have a face cam in these videos. Cause it would just be just very upsetting to everyone to watch. Cause I, children might be watching this video, but they're only over the age of 13, of course, copper. Right, come on, 37 minutes. We're nearly there, guys. Where's my spray bottle? There it is. Oh, that feels good. Just emptying the spray bottle onto my forehead. Oh. Oh, it's dropped out of time. Well, that's good. Love it when that happens. 27, 26, 25. Oh, I'm literally just doing the countdown now because I've run out of things to say. Come on. I'm going to open the map screen, actually, because why is it zooming out? There we go. Oh, keep going. Why is the camera axis also the same? Whatever, I don't care. 12. Oh, you really can't go any faster. Like, why is this uh, the safest speed? This is so slow. At least it looks like I'm not going to go past the maneuver node this time, which is good. Like, I can't believe there are time warps that are slower than this. This is ridiculously slow. Ho oh, 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 oh. Come on, mate. So, um, don't really, I, I feel like I have to try and say something meaningful to keep the video going, but I'm not quite sure what I could possibly say. This is ridiculously slow! Why is it only we can do fifth? Please, just give me four. I mean, how high are we? Oh, we're not going to make it to the faster point now, are we? Right, so let's just slow down. I feel like that came at me really quickly. Right, so, I mean, how long is the burn going to take, do you think? I don't really know. I've not really, I have not really used the Wolfhound engine enough to know its thrust rate ratio well enough. Like, if this was the nuclear engine, I'd probably have a, a better idea. But with the Wolfhound, I mean, let's just, I don't know, one minute before the burn. I guess it doesn't really matter a huge amount how accurate it is. Let's do 30 seconds before the burn. That seems like a fair, a fairly safe time to start. Let's do save as well, first of all. Right, and then... Uh, just, I guess. So yeah, and I forgot to turn the throttle up on the engine, so I know it's not a two second burn, so I don't know where the game got that idea from. Great, cool. Uh, so I'm going to zoom out, and of course the camera then flips down to the bottom. I know there's probably a way you can do it, but like, I don't care enough at this point. Oh, come on. Like, I would really like it if the camera was, like, so I could see what was happening. So I've got to zoom out. I literally it won't even let me zoom out. Oh, 
I kind of is it focus on the sun? Okay, focus on Moho. And then focus on the sun. I focus on the sun. Oh, please! Oh my god, just let me focus on the sun. God's sake. There we go. Ah, <sighs> and it just won't let me zoom out. Why can't I zoom out? I mean, this is crap, isn't it? Like, how can this... And now the maneuver node thing has gone. So I, I can't even see my orbit. Now it lets me zoom out. Oh, for God's sake, this is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, right, set as target. I'm just going to burn until we get that intersect. Cool, sure, whatever. And then just guess just get our Kerbin encounter. Just, 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 just. Up. Just, just, oh, please, please. I'm just, I literally am being like, this is the most, this is the most ridiculous, overly executed maneuver node ever. It's way too expensive for what it needs to be and what it should be, but I don't care, guys. That's the thing. Quick save five, why not? Right, and then literally, I'm like, I'm like uncomfortably hot. Like, I'm literally, I'm soaking. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, so, 371 days. Let's just, let's just go. I'm not going to bother looking properly. <laughs> We're going to just get the Kerbin encounter, and then we'll do what we did for Juno and just do like a mid course correction. I hope I have enough Delta V. I'm using a lot of our Delta V budget. I'm just using the internal memory that I have 2,000 meters per second, and I'm just assuming we have a little bit more than that based on the fact that that was calculated when we had a big heavy lander attached. But I just don't understand why the game has suddenly no longer knows how much Delta V I've got. Maybe learning a quick save would help, but I don't know. And I can't be bothered to try. Uh, come on, game. Oh my god, this video has been so long at this point. It's like an hour and a half, probably. I think it's just under at the moment, but it'll be like an hour and a half, an hour and 40 by the time it's done. Uh, all you people who kept on asking for console, I hope it was worth it. I swear, if it's like messed up again. Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> 60, 59. I mean, it's not hugely accurate, this mo maneuver node. So it doesn't matter if I overshoot it a little bit. Okay, right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop out of time. Oh, I forgot. You know what I mean? I pressed X. It didn't do anything. Sure. Let's just do it. I don't know how to do physics time warp, and I don't care at this point. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what we did for Juno and just um, close Maneuver Node as we get close to completion and just watch the Maneuver Node arrows, well, the separation arrows manually. So here we go, nearly there. Still going to take two minutes, two seconds, sorry, according to the game. So here we go. Come on, come on. Just drop that thrust way down. Lovely. I don't like how glitchy those things are looking. Let's zoom in. So, can I get it to zoom in without just... Oh, my God, it's so difficult. There we go. Oh, I think I was doing the wrong zooming button the whole time, guys, by the way. So, sorry, squad. Um, it does it does work. I think I was just being an idiot when it came to the zoom. I still don't know why I couldn't zoom out any further than... The, you know, when it, I couldn't zoom out very far. I don't know why that was. Anyway, just bring this down. Let's go down. 
And what's it going to be? Prograde or retrograde? I can't remember. Let's just... Uh, this is going to be a very small adjustment. Whatever it is. <gasps> I forgot to add parachutes! No! <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, I knew I'd forgotten something. Oh, this has really upset me on an emotional level. Okay, it doesn't matter. The Kerbals can jump out. Or we can just let them die. That's how we end this. That's how we end Potato Aerospace. The Kerbals, they just die. <laughs> oh, you're joking. You've got to be joking. I forgot to add parachutes. That is very embarrassing. That's on me. That is on me. I take full responsibility. Thing is, like, this is actually a sabotage op from Lown Aerospace. Potato Aerospace, as pathetic as it was, was too much of a threat to us. Oh, and now comes the, uh, the surgical precision I need to use where we got it. No, I don't want you to make a maneuver. Oh, it's because it's on the maneuver line, isn't it? Prograde, there we go. I just need to get it in the atmosphere. That's all I need. But I just can't get the accuracy. <laughs> I don't think I could make the thrust limiter any... And I do not even want to bother trying to figure out how to use RCS. Oh, mate, I literally... I cannot even. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. If we burn up, we burn up. <laughs> We're in this together. Oh, no! This is really starting to tick me off. Like, I've not even got a funny comment to make. The controls and everything about this version of the game are just... It's just horrible. It's just a horrible game to play. Like, this has not been fun for me. I've not enjoyed myself. Like, when I play this on, on PC, I have fun. And then it just... Like, focus. Right, let's try that again. So then when I focus it, it gets rid of the cursor so then I can no longer zoom in. So I've got to enable the cursor again, right? Right, and then... Okay, right, here we go. Oh, that's a good pace. Okay. Come on, come on. 22. Sure. You know, it's probably safe. <laughs> uh, okay, right, and then... Zoom out. And then we're going to go time warp. We're just going to time warp. Time warp around. And I need to go for a wee now. I need to go to the toilet. So I'm just going to let... I'll probably speed this up and post this bit. And uh, I'll just come back when I'm back. Oh, all right, I'm back. <laughs> and it looks like we're, we're nearly there. Oh, where did I put the controller? There it is. And it looks like we're nearly there. So, uh... That's it, actually. I had nothing else to add to that. I did, um, experience the euphoria of stepping outside my office, though, where the house was so much cooler, guys. Like, it's not even the UK heatwave problem. I think it's just the sweat box that is my office it's such a small room and i've got my pc my two monitors which generate a fair amount of heat and i've got the ps4 pro which based on the absolute volume that it's screaming means that, that that's probably getting quite hot radial out let's just try because obviously it, the orbital line has seemed to have just changed itself which is i love when that happens so let's just try and do this with a bit more accuracy how I'm literally, I cannot believe I forgot to add. Oh, good one. Pointing the wrong way. That is on me. <laughs> Let's get the thrust limiter done. There we go. I, I am getting used to the controls again. Like, not to the point where I ever want to play this game again. Oh, see, like, it just, it just, 
I just can't see my pair-ups this line anymore. And I bet it's not going to let me focus on Kerbin, is it? No. No, I don't want to add a manoeuvre. Oh. So I close that. Just focus on Kerbin. You know what? I'm just going to look at this. I'm just going to look at the thing in the bottom left and ignore the screen. I saw from a visual standpoint it might be a bit nicer. I was pointing the right way. I might perhaps this went down then. Whoops. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm literally just suffering the effects of heat stroke at this point. Okay, here we go. Uh, 31. We're going to be coming in very fast because look at our orbital inclination. So hopefully this works. But if not, if it doesn't, I literally, I'm, I'm just going to end it there because I I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I want to get off Mr. Jebediah's wild ride. Right, and then time warp, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh! <gasps> stage, stage, stage! There we go. That could have been a disaster. So zoom in, please. I just want to zoom in. See, like, the zoom button now no longer works. Has it changed to a different button? Oh, it has. You've got to hold on L1 now. Before it was just L... It was just the paddles. L1, L2 and R2. Oh. Now, it's a bit concerning our apoapsis is not capturing. There it is. Yeah, we're safe. We should be able to just land in one go. Come on, mate. We're nearly there. Okay, perhaps this is now uh, a positive integer, which means we are definitely not going to go back into deep space. And it's looking like we're just going to land. So then comes, like, the really difficult part of trying to get this thing to zoom in first. That would be nice. And then uh, trying to get our Kerbal was safely to land. Did the Kerbal was even have parachutes in console KSP? I'm not going back. I'm not changing it. Oh, Matt Lallon, he's like the Blunderbirds guy. Does the tutorials. You can't just not. No. I feel like I have suffered enough. And I think I would've, probably would have remembered parachutes if I wasn't just having to spend half the time battling with the controls and trying to remember how to place stuff. I was distracted. You guys distracted me. I'm blaming you. It was all your fault. Oh, my... By the way, during that, this re-entry, the PS4 has got very, very loud. I feel like... Oh, boy, I've never heard it get that loud before. Uh, there is every chance the game might just crash before we make it to, uh, to land. So let's just time warp down a little bit. Now, window. Oh my god, please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Oh my god, I can't drop out of time warp. Guys, I cannot, I cannot drop out of time warp. <gasps> Thank god. That was so scary. Right, okay. So, uh, EVA. Okay, right. Deploy parachute. Uh... Deploy parachute. Deploy parachute. Uh, now, how do I switch to the other vessel? Oh my god, please. Is there just no way? There has to be a way. That's ridiculous if there isn't. There has to be a way. There's got to be a way, surely. Please, just switch. Or was that the... Well, something survived. This game is just, is just garbage. Oh! So it was there! So why wouldn't it let me switch? You know what? Jebediah is okay. And that's all I care about at this point. Like, that is dumb. What is the... Does the console not have a quick switch button? Oh.
toggle open map so oh it's got a hide portrait button but not an actually useful tool like switch and physics time warp is still on and the toolbar is freaking out and I can't this has just been a disaster I might just not upload anything tomorrow <laughs> I will just to appease the console fans, but this has just been not fun at all. <laughs> Lesson learned. I mean, I just need to stop injuring my hand. Admittedly, there probably should be better reasons to not maim yourself, but that's my reason. Because I never want to play. So if anyone wants to buy a PS4 Pro, because I mean, this is the only game I ever plan on playing on this PS4, because I've got my own PS4 downstairs. I thought it'd be nice to have a dedicated one for KSP. Just so I've got it there in case this series ends up being really popular, which even if it is, I don't care. I'm very sorry for the negative playthrough, guys. I think it's partly just due to the heat stroke. And recover, and we will have unlocked no science because all the scientists on board the capsule that I couldn't switch back to. So, uh... It was weird. It said the switch to button appeared, and I clicked it, and then the menu just closed. And then I couldn't click it. I couldn't click it again. That was really annoying and odd. And that's basically a good summation for this whole mission. And there we are. Everyone is dead except Jebediah. So it's still a win. We got an achievement on Steam, not on Steam, on, on PlayStation. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through with me on this, this, this playthrough. Uh, how do I get rid of the UI? There we are. Um, there's, there was, there's names scrolling on screen. And I need to have a lie down. You can figure out the rest uh, from context, I guess. Uh, bye. Oh, my God.